Hey everybody and welcome back once again to the channel. My name is Chris Olmy and today we're back at Rascalicious Farms playing some more Starters Order 6. So this video is going to be about four races, that's all I could find. Um, yeah, so we're, we're kind of splitting the stable in half and uh, we're splitting the videos up just so that they're not running too long. So I hope everybody's used to that format and is enjoying that. So we're going to start off today with a race for Gamma Bow. Gamma Bow is in a grade 3 race. So it would be nice to see if she can actually get on that uh, on that graded list with everybody else bar Ninja Girl at the moment. I'd be very happy to see both those get graded races as two-year-olds. And then next up, we've got a grade three, six furlong for Endless Shadow, who's already won one of his grade threes earlier on this season. One of his two races was a grade three win, so that is quite good. Lock Journal is in a grade one. He's in the mile one furlong Florida Derby. So I'm really hoping that there's big things there for Lock Journal. And then we should end out with Hidden Beauty. Now that's a mile grade one. And uh, yeah, we're, we're really hoping that Hidden Beauty can step up there. We are coming in now to the end of March, which means, you know, Kentucky Derby, Triple Chrome, not far away. We've got Grand Sahara sitting there waiting, ready for a race. And it might be best just to hold Grand Sahara off until the Kentucky Derby itself. I, that's kind of what I'm feeling at the moment. It might just make the most sense to do that. So I think that's where we are with those horses. Breeding, well, Retriever has breeded true with Midnight Opal. So that is something that... Uh, we're going to take care of after this first race so without any further ado really we are counting down to uh the start of april which isn't too far away from derby season as i said earlier so we're just gonna be uh keeping one eye on that and seeing if we can't fit one race in or maybe just keep our favorite horse for that which is grand sahara keeping them out of races so here we are then the grade three it's another favorable race um i found this one and i was i was quite happy to see not not a really good field you know unraced two-year-olds they're all fillies they're all unraced two-year-olds apart from gamma bow yeah why not why not we're, we're We've got a little bit of proven quality, 99 rating, you know, a good win after running green. So, yeah, there's not too much to sort of say about the rest of the field because I just don't know the rest of the field. What we are going to do is get straight into the race and see what we can do. So, here we go. Here we go. So... All around the back stretch here, we're all sort of coalescing into position. Four and a half furlongs now left to run. Start approaching that long turn. Falcon Era at the rear with my chickadee. Gamma Bow at the back of the field as well. No cheating is just about on the edge of the picture with Lady Smith. There they are, the pair of them. Yes, we can. Ghostly Gate, both up near the front of the field, chasing down Bati Romo. Here comes No Cheating, going strongly in fourth as you come round that turn. Two furlongs left. Here's Gamma Bow, a furlong and a half, and they kick on and start their sprint for the line. Gamma Bow up into third, chasing down No Cheating, who's taken the lead, and there goes Gamma Bow. Ahead, a half a length, a length. Half a furlong left to run. Gamma Bow just coasting towards the line. The best horse in the field. And another lovely run as a closer. 
I don't think anyone is surprised that uh, Gamut Bo actually won that race, but three and a half furlongs is pretty good. 105 uh, rating, so that's a gain of six, which is awesome. Plus, of course, a graded race win under her belt, so could improve over another furlong. Okay, so Gamma Bo, I believe now then. What's that make Gamma Bo? A mile? Did I really just skip that auction when there was a horse that had won every race? Go back and pause the video, guys. I'm going to be doing it in editing and just seeing what that horse was like because I might... I hope it wasn't like four or below and it won every race it's been a part of and was a graded horse and the rest of it. I would cry. I really would cry. But, uh, yeah, it's a graded race for Gamma Bow, so that is a decent recovery after running green in her first maiden. So, you know, a comfortable win in the second, then a win there, so probably a seven furlong horse, maybe a mile horse as well. That's not bad. That's really not bad, so let's get breeding with Retriever. Let's get Retriever in with who? Who's available? What is Retriever a mile? So any of these horses will do. Peppy Priscilla. And Lights Out Angel have already been done. Excitable, so no to Martina. Vakel or Madets. Uh, there's not much difference, really. We'll go with the Group 1 wins. There's three group one wins there, so I'm happy just to uh, get that done. That's a nice graphic. I haven't seen that before. I don't believe I've raced that Hawthorne too often. So uh, I don't get to see these pictures sometimes, but really nice additions with these uh, extra graphics. You can find the links as always down in the description as well as a link to my Twitter to have your say on anything in the game have any questions i'm happy to answer about my game my playing style my save my horses um you know the world of racing isn't really my forte i don't know a lot about horses and yeah i mean in in this year's triple crown i felt that nyquist had a very good shot and to see nyquist lose the Preakness and finished third that kind of surprised me that did kind of surprise me so yeah like my knowledge of racing isn't great I did believe heavily in American Pharaoh it's easy to say after the fact um, but I, I truly did believe that American Pharaoh was going to do it I loved the way I love the way Ferro ran in the derby and there was a lot of hype about the horse anyway. Then, sort of in the build-up to the Preakness, I started to believe that this could be the horse and it won the Preakness and then I was sold. Instantly, I knew that it had what it took to get the job done at Belmont. But uh, I had similar feelings with Nyquist this year as well. Sadly, the Preakness didn't work out and... You know, we don't know what's going to happen in the Belmont, but uh, I don't think Nyquist is going to win that race now. So, you know, I'm happy to discuss a lot of things about racing and horses and that kind of stuff, but I'm no expert. If you want experts on that kind of thing, you can head over to the Starters Orders forums. There's a lot of people with a lot more knowledge on me about training and racing and betting and scouting horses and jockeys and stables and the whole sort of shebang so i'd head over there and 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 ask them but if you do want to ask me anything then about anything really get in contact twitter links in the description or just in the comments have your say and i will get back to you so four furlongs left to run there's the post as we start now approaching this turn three and a half furlongs 
on the band here we go sleepy entourage image of a cat sparkle and shine we can see in picture with proceed and masterful just losing touch with the front four conquistatura now is dropping back well deal again nightlight and endless shadow here competing for the front running and here goes endless shadow kicking out strong as he runs the end of that turn down to a furlong here comes nightlight this no there we go endless shadow i thought this might be the uh the race endless shadow loses but just when nightlight looked to make a move endless shadow kicks on again for the line at about half a furlong left to run and that's a decent win it, it's not amazing but it's a very decent rain uh decent win a good race and that takes endless shadow up to or well, stays at 104 rated okay okay that's two grade three wins almost filled the potential for the season and yeah that's three wins out of three i can't really ask for too much more than that can i so we've got an unbeaten two-year-old we've got an unbeaten three-year-old this season and we've got an unbeaten three-year-old who's unbeaten over a career and that's my triple crown ready horse grand sahara so not bad guys but you know not bad at all gamma bow with a nice win endless shadow with a nice win i do believe that uh, Lock Journal and Hidden Beauty have a good opportunity. Otherwise, I wouldn't put them in those races. So we're going to go into auction and take a look at anything that might be interesting. A mile four mil. I don't really think so. No, no mile one. Um, it's going to be something special special to catch my eye here in terms of me picking up another horse i mean this one's worth a lot that's your opinion doesn't look to be too much to the horse but i want to see how many people are bidding that doesn't normally mean a lot but it might just uh look at that nobody's gonna bid 1.32 million No, it's not going for anywhere near that. So, reserve not met. April 1st doesn't catch us out. We're going to go on April 2nd. Where's the breeding? Starboard bow could breed with uh, Gianna's reprise. That could be done after this race. And then in a few days' time, Hidden Recipe and Roxiana might be sort of uh done as well so we can find breeding pairs so maybe two of our horses in between these races now let's get into our third race of the day and make sure that we do not skip past it as i have been known to do um there we go lock journal so 11 to 4 favorite and let's see okay not the not the top rated that's stefan stelio everybody's on similar weights with the uh the sex adjustment tipsters stefan stelio with two we've got three in the paddock the Cherokee Queen is sweating badly and agitated. The Dagenham Fox is parading well. That's one of ours. And yeah, Stefan Stelio is agitated as well. It's one of Group 2 level, but not Group 1 level. So this could be interesting. What about Cherokee Queen? That's not one of mine. No, it's not. It kind of sounded like one of mine, but... Let's move on to the race itself then. So Dagenham Fox rears its head again. 
and Steph and Stelios as the two horses there on the inside in those uh, yellows. One a bright yellow, one a muddy sort of brown yellow. And this, of course, is a long, long race. We see all the horses starting to find their positions for running the majority of this race, settling into their stride as they go. So let's see where we are now then at about six and a half furlongs from home as we're completing the first turn round onto the back stretch. Stefan Stelio is at the back. Queen Asco at the back as well with Cherokee Queen. Dagenham Fox just out of picture coming in now slightly behind Patri uh, yeah, Patriotic Flame. Sally Ann there and Woodfall Treasure starting to catch and move past lock journal and we're all chasing down peef who's gone out ahead four furlongs left starting the turn now on this far side ready to come round onto the home stretch and this is where horses will start to get into position ready for the fight to the finish lock journal making a nice move there on the inside patriotic flame round the outside peef is still holding first but I don't feel that they're going to be there very much longer as we cross the two furlong post. And here comes Lock Journal. Here comes Patriotic Flame. We've got Cherokee Queen as well making a move. And I believe the Dagenham Fox is going to try and make a late run. But they're all being left behind. There's Lock Journal here. Half a furlong. And here comes Cherokee Queen and Dagenham Fox and Stefan Stelio. But Lock Journal kicks on. And again, I didn't think we were going to hold on for part of that sort of last furlong. I felt that we might just be caught. But the top three, Lock Journal, Dagon and Fox, Stefan Stelio. That was a nice run as well by Cherokee Queen in fourth. A short hit behind Stefan Stelio, so... Yeah, not, not, not the best of runs, maybe... But that's a one mile, one furlong, grade one win this season to go with the hat trick of mile grade ones that Lock Journal won as a two year old. And yeah, he's finally he's finally arrived here. So maybe go for the Kentucky Derby next at Churchill Downs. I don't know about that. Like, that's something I want your input on as well. We do have Hidden Beauty and Lock Journal who are both shorter distances. They can maybe do something in the Derby. They can maybe do something in the Preakness. But I feel the Belmont is too far for the pair of them. They are a mile and a mile one. They are not, I repeat, not going to have the distance for all three races. So... Do we put Gran Sahara in on her own to let her run over her distances to try and win the Triple Crown? Or do we compete with all three, Hidden Beauty, Lock Journal and Gran Sahara? Is that something that we actually want to attempt? There we are, Hidden Recipe breeds true once more. And let's find a horse. There we go. That'll do. At this point, I'm just getting numbers rather than anything else. So, yeah. Do we run all three? Do we run just one? I don't know. Like, we've got... Maybe got a good option here with... Uh, with Grand Sahara... But watching Lock Journal grab another Grade 1 win and knowing that there are two big prize races that he can compete for. And the Belmont's a bit of a crapshoot anyway. I mean, I think we're going to have the same problem as some of our two-year-olds not being quite the distance, but maybe having the quality and Hidden Beauty, you know, over a mile, she's really good. She might not get past the mile. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what I uh, what I want to do or what I'd be willing to do there. So again, let me know in the comments who do you think I should run in the Kentucky Derby? Should I only put one horse in or all three horses? Let's go with let's see Retriever and Miss Perky. Oh, there we go. Strike softly, laid back. That's kind of what I want to see. I do kind of want to see those laid back horses come out. So the fourth and final race of the day to round out the video. We've just seen Lock Journal win, maybe put himself in triple crown contention, at least for one or two of the races. Hidden Beauty here might be able to stake a claim with another good win here. Couple of nice horses in this, Maria Maria and Hidden Ticket, of course, one of our former horses. That's one we've bred, so. It's probably our biggest rival again. But here, Hidden Beauty, the mile Santa Anita Oaks. Can she get the win? Can she put herself in contention for that Triple Crown race that's coming up very soon, the Kentucky Derby? Or do we just go with one horse as I was planning to do? I don't know. Normally, if it's a close sort of battle, I'll put in more than one horse, but... There's only one horse that really should compete over the distance and we haven't raced her today. The other two are mile and mile one, so let me know your thoughts and feelings and how you think we should approach those races in particular. But for now, with five furlongs left to run in this race, Hidden Beauty tucked in there inside on the rail, number two, Hidden Ticket at the with Sweet Ransom, True Tales, Maria Maria Metal, and Margot Mechance. Lenez there, just in fourth place. And then Hidden Beauty, Bonzuz, and Sweet as a Rose. Almost three abreast on that stretch. Now we're starting to drop Bonzuz back as we go round the turn. Here goes Hidden Beauty, out on her own. She wants this race. She wants to go early. She wants to... Sort of push the rest of the field back and out of the way. Hidden Ticket is making a move up the field, ready for a late finish. But approaching one furlong, Hidden Beauty is not being challenged. There is nobody anywhere in sight. And you can see Sweet as a Rose. Just nowhere near. Hidden Beauty there, taking a very impressive win over a mile. And that is another reason why I want your feedback on these three-year-olds, because they have the quality. All three of them have the quality. All three are a factor in the Preakness and probably the Kentucky Derby itself. But only one really should have much of a chance at the Belmont and therefore the Triple Crown, so... And even then, that's probably my weaker horse over the the Preakness because I know it likes to run at a mile three, so the Preakness might be a little short for one of my horses. Grand Sahara might not enjoy that, but Hidden Beauty, that's another nice and easy win there. And let's see where that leads Hidden Beauty. So 125 rated absolutely fantastic so there we go that that'll do the video for today we pick up some easy wins there with a lock journal picking up a win and hidden beauty too so we'll see what we do with the kentucky derby approaching with those two horses we also picked up wins with our two-year-olds today in the shadow going three races unbeaten and climbing a grade three race gamma bow picking up a grade three in her third race after running green on her debut maiden 
we still got to run ninja girl sweet treats as well our two two-year-olds we're gonna see how they fare in the next video hopefully i can find races for those two and of course grand sahara our triple crown hopeful this season that's my favorite for the triple crown and last season's triple crown winner crimson star sixth in his last race last season he opened up with an eighth place in this one is it time to hit the breeding barn is it time to start looking at a new chapter for crimson star or can we get back on track there so i don't know how this season's gonna end up we've got a couple of interesting situations developing i hope you're enjoying it i hope that you uh will come back and see how we get through the rest of this season and what we decide to do in and out of the breeding barn and on the track so until then guys thanks for watching if you have liked thumbs up subscribe if you already haven't and i'll see you guys back here very soon for some more starters order six at rascalicious farms with me chris or me and my plethora of wondrous horses um i'm really loving the stable we've got together at the moment so i'm excited to see where this goes how this develops but we'll be back in a short while with more races i hope you'll join us